guys. It's Stein Brook from Stein Air here again today. Uh, one question we get asked an awful lot is how to work with shielded wire. How do you strip it off? And uh, this can be your thick wires with many conductors inside of it. In this case, this is what on a typical uh, RV or glass star or something like that that has electronic trim. This would be a five conductor shielded cable. Sometimes it's only two or three for your audio lines. Um, there's all kinds of different sizes and shapes and stuff like that. But people always want to wonder how do you get that outer conductor off easily and uh, without ruining the wires inside of it. Now the, the bad news is there's not an automated tool for this. Um, there's some out there, some widgets that don't work real well. Simple thing is just use an old X-Acto knife and a uh, pair of uh, side cutters or flush cutters. So the simple way to do this is find out how far back you want to strip the wire. In the case of this trim, we're going to strip it back a ways because we want to be able to put a D-sub end on the end of this D-sub wire, um, a connector, and be able to connect two pieces together. So simply just lay it down on the table. I'm going to kind of rush through this. Please try to be a little more careful and uh, don't cut your finger off so you end up like that. Simply go back as far as you need to go, take your X-Acto knife, and then just uh, make a slit in the top of the wire through the top conductor down to the uh, shield below it. When your slit is done, you'll have a slit there. Just grab that, pop it open, and it'll fold back as far as you've cut the slit. Now your outer insulation is gone or uh, removed. You can take your flush cutter and just snip it off. Now you still have this shield to deal with and there's various methods for getting rid of it or getting it out of there. People use little toothpicks to pull them out and use the shield on its own. Nobody does that in the professional shops anymore because we have solder splices and we'll show you about those in a different video. But simply to get this off, we're eventually going to put heat shrink over this or a solder sleeve so we don't care if we have a lot of extra insulation. But we simply can just push the shielding back until it puffs up a little bit there and leaves us a little bit of a ridge. And then we can simply come down here take that ridge and we'll just snip it a couple times around here with this flush cutter. And we'll just snip off that little ridge of uh, shield and then we can grab the remaining shield, pull it off. There's the tape that's inside there that identifies the mill spec and we can unwind our wires and there we have our wires to work with. We can strip them, put ends on them, put a D-sub connector on the end. We don't need this little paper strip in here, it's just an identifier for the mill spec so we usually snip it off and there's your wires. So simply just to recap, you just simply take your knife or your X-Acto or your uh, razor blade. This one I've already pre-slit, but just make a slit down it. Don't push too hard because you don't want to go through all the insulation or through the uh, shield beneath. And you're just going to make a slit down there just like that. Then you're going to take the slit that you made and open it up with a fingernail or a toothpick or whatever and pull it back, fold it back, snip it off with a pair of flush cutters there's your shield. We're going to push the shield back to only leave exposed however much we want. And we've got a little ridge around there, you can see, right there. We're simply going to take our flesh cutter, we're going to snip off that little ridge of uh, shield. This usually only takes two or three snips around there. And then you can just slide off the shield that was there. And you're left with your nice exposed unharmed wires inside that you haven't picked at, and you haven't used a stripper on. Um, there's the little tape inside. We remove that little paper tape, it's not needed for anything. And there's our wires. We can go about stripping and treating these wires how we want. Typically we're going to put a solder splice over this. We'll show you that in another video. And, uh, or a piece of heat shrink to clean it up and terminate the end of this shielded wire correctly. So there's how you deal with shielded wires. Again, all of the tools, with exception of razor blades, but these flush cutters and the wire and the pieces and the parts and the pins are all available on our website at www.steinair.com. Thanks and have a good day.